Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Many dryer repairs will require some disassembly of the appliance. Before you attempt this, be sure to unplug the power cord. To remove the dryer door, open the door and support it while using a number two square bit or a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the door to the hinge. Detach the door. If you need to replace the hinge, unthread the screws, securing the hinge to the frame. With the screws removed, use a small flathead screwdriver to help pull back the hinge plate. Holding the plate, rotate the hinge and pull it out. Reinstall or replace the hinge by depressing the plate and inserting the hinge into the frame. Release the plate, then thread and tighten the screws to secure. Align the dryer door, then thread and tighten the screws. To access components behind the control panel, unthread the screws at the back securing the main top. Slide the main top back and lift it up to remove. Now unthread the screws securing the control panel mounting brackets to the frame. With the screws removed, lift the panel up and use a small flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tab to release the wire connector. You can now replace components like the control knob, and the user control board. To reach the heating element components, drive motor or blower housing, first open the dryer door and unthread the two screws on the front panel securing the lint filter housing cover. Lift and support the dryer. Then unthread the bottom front panel mounting screws. With the screws unthreaded, remove the support and unthread the top front panel mounting screws. Lift the panel up and out. Disconnect the door switch wire connector to fully remove the front panel. Now disconnect both the drum light wire connector and the user control board wire connector from the main control board. Unthread the control board support bracket screws and detach the bracket from the front bulkhead. Unthread the lower bulkhead mounting screws. Carefully lift the front bulkhead up to detach it from the frame.
support the main control board bracket. Now reach under the drum and unthread the belt from the pulley and motor shaft. You can use the belt to help lift out the drum. If you need to replace the drive motor, detach the spring from the idler arm and lift off the idler assembly. Disconnect the motor wire harness. Use channel lock pliers to secure the motor shaft and a 7 8 inch socket to unthread the blower wheel by rotating it clockwise. Use a large flathead screwdriver to help pry the motor retaining bracket off. Release the motor mounting clip and you can lift out the old motor. Install the new drive motor by inserting the motor shaft into the blower wheel as you align the motor on the mounting bracket. Replace the motor mounting clip. Replace the motor retaining bracket. Secure the motor shaft and rotate the blower wheel counterclockwise to secure it to the shaft. Connect the wire harness to the new motor. Reposition the arm on the idler mount and attach the spring to the arm. Reinstall the drum by positioning it on the rear rollers. Loop the belt on the pulley and motor shaft in a zigzag formation. Rotate the drum to help align the belt. Reinstall the front bulkhead by inserting the tabs into the slots in the frame as you align the drum on the front rollers. Thread and tighten the lower bulkhead mounting screws. Detach the support from the main control board bracket and hook the bracket onto the bulkhead. Replace the screws. Reconnect the user control board wire connector as well as the drum light wire connector. Reinstall the front panel by first reconnecting the door switch wire connector. Now hook the front panel tabs on the slots in the frame. Replace the panel mounting screws on top. Lift and support the dryer to replace the bottom mounting screws. Replace the two screws to secure the lint filter housing cover to the front panel. Connect the wire connector to the user control board. Reposition the control panel and replace the screws to secure the brackets. To access parts behind the rear panel, first remove the screws to release the main top mounting bracket.
Now close the water supply valve and remove the water supply line from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Remove the screw to release the rear access panel. Note the orientation of the power cord wires on the terminal block. Then use a quarter inch socket or the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws to disconnect the wires. Now remove all of the rear panel mounting screws. Detach the rear panel to access the rear heat duct the heat duct thermistor, and the water inlet mist valve. To replace the inlet valve, first disconnect the wire harness. Now depress the locking ring to detach the water line. Next, unthread the mounting screws and remove the old valve. Install the new water inlet mist valve by inserting it in the rear bulkhead. Then thread and tighten the screws to secure. Connect the water line to the new valve, as well as the wire harness. Continue the reassembly by repositioning the rear panel. Then replace all of the mounting screws to secure. Note that the longer screw should be used to secure the panel above the exhaust vent. Connect the power cord wires to the appropriate terminals on the terminal block and secure them with the screws. Replace the rear access panel and secure it with the screw. Realign the main top mounting bracket and replace the screws to secure. Attach the water supply line to the inlet valve. Realign the main top and slide it into place. Rethread the screws in the back. With the appliance fully reassembled, Reopen the water supply valve, plug the power cord back in, and your dryer should be ready for use.